What if I told you that there's a version of Minecraft that has the capability to scare you to death? Oh. This is Era 422, known as one of Minecraft's most scariest versions. And I am gonna try to beat it, but is it possible? The moment I joined, I immediately noticed that my hotbar was glitched, but I didn't think much of it, so I went to go gather some wood and noticed- Whoa, what? Why don't I have my head? That is so weird. What the? The item names were also glitching, which kind of makes sense on why the version is called Era 422. Anyway, I gathered some stone and found a strange looking desert with a bunch of floating cacti. Why is it so glitched out? I later found a cave where I got some materials needed to beat the game. After that, I went into the cursed desert and found a lava pool where I could build my portal. I made a marker so I don't lose the lava pool and began building my portal. Bro, I'm actually really bad at speed portaling. When I finally finished my portal, I went to go find some flint for a flint and steel. And that took me 20 minutes to find gravel. I kind of thought it would be easy to find it, but then I finally made the flint and steel and tried lighting my portal and... What? Why is it not working? Did I do something wrong? Yes, I did. I realized it could be the blocks in front causing it to not work. So I broke those blocks hoping it would fix the issue. But then I did something really stupid. Oh. <sighs> okay, bro, stop being so dramatic. I broke the blocks, lit up the portal, and entered the nether, so stop being such a crybaby. <laughs> I've been wandering around for 30 minutes and I still haven't found a fortress, so I decided to go the opposite way to see if there was one there. Wait, what? Why do I have instant health? I completely forgot this was a cursed version. Something or someone gave me instant health, but how? This is a single player world and nobody else was in the game besides me. But oh well, it's whatever. It's not like I was gonna die in two seconds. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh shoot! Wait. What is happening? No. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what was that? Okay, I admit, that was really dumb of me. But it honestly felt like the game knew I was gonna fall in the lava. But that's not really important right now. What is important is that I lost all of my stuff. So I guess that means I have to grind for all of my stuff back. After roaming around for a bit, I finally got tired and decided to log off for the night. Alright, I'm back to where I was. I just want to get this challenge done and over with, man. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna go this way. That was the dumbest mistake I have ever done. Oh, I think I regret doing what I just did. Oh my goodness. Why does it still kill me? What? Yeah, for some reason, zombie pigmen don't forgive you after dying in this version. So out of frustration, I deleted the world and loaded up a new one. And I gotta admit, it was very worth it. I mean, I got to spawn next to a desert temple and a village? This has got to be one of the best spawns yet. These villages give me so much memories. <gasps> after looting everything, I began searching for another lava pool. And it was surprisingly very close. I found a lava pool finally. I placed down all of my stuff and proceeded to gather some materials. And while looking for irons, this happened. Whoa. I'm not gonna lie, I almost fainted. My heart was beating rapidly. I was beginning to feel lightheaded. So what did I do? I fell asleep on my desk. Like, I'm not even joking. I was asleep for like 15 minutes long. Yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of that, but I continued looking for more materials. Then when I came back to go to sleep... What the heck? Yeah, no, this game is trolling me way too much. I lost like half of my stuff, which absolutely sucked, but at least I somehow managed to keep the decent items, which is good. It's fine, I still got like leftover iron. If you ever think Minecraft hates you, bro, make sure to watch this clip. After gathering all of my resources again... Why'd I do that? Oh my god! I finally built my portal. But then... What the hell? Wait, who is that? Wait... What the heck? Wait, who is that? There was another player in my world, but... Who is it? I did some research just after the incident. I found a wiki site and there it was. The entity, also known as Glitch or Error 422, may randomly appear next to you. 
applying the 3D anecdote filter, similar to an old 3D movie, and doing one of the two following actions. The entity may lock your controls, including your camera, while spamming nonsense in the chat. After a moment of this, your game will crash and open a crash log that simply spells out error 422 in red at signs. That's literally what just happened to me. I was terrified, so I logged off and attended a talent show, hoping I could potentially forget about what just happened. Anyway, I couldn't get the thought of the entity out of my mind. All I wanted to do at that point was to just finish the challenge once and for all. When I logged back in, I was relieved to see that all of my stuff were still intact. I lighted up my portal and found a nearby fortress. We're back in business, baby. I made a simple contraption to make it easier for me to kill the blazes. Yes, it's because I suck at 1.8 PvP. Anyway, back to the montage. Oh, oh my gosh, yes! After gathering all of my blaze rods, I went home preparing to farm some endermen. But then, he came back. Holy sh you may remove your ability to attack, scroll through your hotbar, and use items as it chases you down and kills you. The entity is much faster than the player and can kill you in just a matter of seconds, making it a guaranteed death except in the most lucky scenarios. Is beating the game even possible at this point? With him showing up randomly just to kill me or sabotage me, is it even worth it? Nope, There's not at all. Not There's no it. way. It's That's impossible. It. I'm going to prove them wrong, but first, I'm going to have to farm some endermen, which took a very long time because apparently endermen are like really rare in this version. So with the current eyes of ender, I went looking for a stronghold, hoping the portal has some few eyes placed down. But then my last eye broke, so I had no choice but to guess its location since I went past it, but I just couldn't find it anywhere. So then I came up with a genius idea. So as you can see up here, it says it's version 1.9.1. If I can go to the actual Minecraft client switch to 1.9.1 i could use lan and find the nether portal myself okay i have my stuff here oh my gosh it's so laggy okay well since i'm in single player i can just press open to lan and allow cheats doing that will allow me to do slash game mode creative <laughs> Okay, hear me out. Now hopefully this isn't cheating. As you saw in the video, my username was my real name. And here it says Sutri, which is my actual Minecraft IGN. So this technically isn't really cheating. Moment of truth, guys. Finally, after an entire week of suffering, I finally get to finish the challenge once and for all. Well, that was cool. 